If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Once when Goku lands on Frieza's planet, they're gonna hear a huge space pod landing like a huge explosion because whenever a space pod land it makes a loud sound and once they hear that they'll see it's already broken and they're gonna be hearing a baby cry right there we'll see baby Kakara sitting there crying because he's a baby all babies cry and from there Frieza's man is gonna take the baby and show Frieza saying Lord Frieza look what landed inside this planet it is a what appears to be a baby Saiyan when Frieza sees that since Frieza has a lot of hatred towards Saiyan, but we also know that Frieza, the only reason why he killed the Saiyan was because Lord Beerus told him to do so. Which portrays right here that when Frieza sees Kakarot, he will first have the urge to kill him. He'll be like, what the hell, the filth monkey doing my planet, die. But before he does it, Frieza will stop and have a second chance. He will see that, look, this is a Saiyan baby. He's not a, from, he's not a full grown baby or anything, he's still a baby. Which means, I can use him for my advantage, I will brainwash him, I will control him, I will make him so loyal towards me that he will be my pet. I say do, he does. I say kill, he kills. And therefore, Frieza is going to get the idea to make Goku his own. Because he thinks using Goku and especially having a Saiyan warrior as one of your warriors of ruling the universe will make a huge advantage. Although Frieza has... Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz, he still doesn't trust him. He knows that those three Saiyans are full adults and anytime they could turn against him and all that. So therefore, he needs someone that he could completely trust and brainwash and that is Son Goku. And because of that, Frieza is going to get the idea to make Goku his own and make him the ultimate warrior. So if as of this day, Goku would not be known as Goku since Frieza will ask to bring the space pod where is he from, he'll get the identity of who he is and his name is going to be Kakarot. So that's one thing right there is that he would not have the name Goku because Grandpa Gohan is the one who named him Goku. But if Frieza found Goku, his name would not be Goku, it would be Kakarot. And then from there, Frieza is going to have the idea to start training Goku so he could make Goku very strong. One thing we learned inside Dragon Ball Super is that Frieza said he never trained before because he didn't. He felt that like he didn't need to train. But now that he has Goku as a baby, he's going to train Goku and while training Goku, he's going to train himself too. So they're both are going to get stronger. And because of the type of Saiyan Goku is, he is the infiltrate baby Saiyan, they're very easy to convince. And therefore, Frieza's brainwashing will start working on Goku. He's going to start brainwashing him and making him become like his own. And then as Goku gets older, he's going to make Goku wear his own gi. So he could be dressed as Goku when he's a kid. But then from there, I believe Goku, since he's trained with Frieza, he's going to tell Frieza that he wants to wear his own gi. He doesn't want to be part of that Frieza man's gi. He wants to be his side man who wears his own gi. One thing we know is that since Frieza brainwashed Goku, as he gets older and older, he has gotten a lot stronger because he has Frieza training him. And on top of that, Goku is very loyal towards Frieza because Frieza has achieved his purpose. He managed to brainwash Goku and make Goku think that Frieza is all he needs and wants. So therefore Frieza's plan has been successful. Now that Goku is a full grown adult, Frieza would keep a close eye on Goku because he knows after all a Saiyan is a monkey. He could anytime turn against Frieza but Frieza does have a little confidence that Goku is actually his pet and that Goku will not turn against him. Eventually Goku's gonna get older and older and Frieza's gonna be keep training Goku to get stronger and stronger and since they have a long time to train a lot of stuff would have still happened the Saiyans will still be alive Frieza wouldn't go kill the Saiyans right now he's gonna wait and continue to train Goku his main project is now became Instead of being the ruler of the universe, it is now to make Goku strong like him and to make brain and to brainwash Goku to be his pet. Because at the end of the day, Frieza wants to rule the universe with a pet who's as strong as him that could be very loyal towards him. Now that Goku's been a fully grown warrior, Frieza is gonna give Goku his first task as a loyal follower of Frieza, and that is to go to planet Vegeta and kill all Saiyans. I want you to eradicate all the Saiyans and don't let them live. 
Goku accepts Frieza's work with pleasure. As we see Goku change to his new gi, this is the type of gi he's gonna be wearing throughout the entire series. It fits Kakarot so well, and it fits his personality. He is no longer the pure-hearted loving Saiyan that we all saw. He is now the most evil, hatred Saiyan that hates every creature besides Frieza and only loves Frieza. So when Goku goes to planet Vegeta, we are going to see that once he infiltrates planet Vegeta, all the Saiyans out there are going to watch Goku and they're going to be like, who is he? And they notice that he doesn't have a tail. The reason why Goku's tail is gone is because during his training with Frieza, Frieza removed his tail. He did not want Goku to have a tail because he knew Saiyans could transform to a giant monkey according to Frieza and he does not want Goku to be able to use that grade A power. So he has cut his tail for good. So at first they're all going to make fun of Goku saying, what are you doing here? Who are you? Get out of our planet. You don't belong here. You're not one of us. But then they'll notice that Goku looks so alike with Bardock. They both look completely alike and therefore they'll be like, what the? This is weird. Before anything happen, the killing begins. Goku starts killing all the Saiyans as he sees fit. Slowly by slowly, he kills half of the population. They're all panicking. They're all wondering what the hell is happening. But before anything can happen, Goku's managed to kill them very quick. Then when Goku goes to Bardock, this will see like a little sad reunion right here. Bardock will see Goku be like, you're my son, Kakarot, you're my father. And once when Bardock comes to hug Goku, he'll be like, I miss you so much son. They're gonna have a sad, emotional moment. As Bardock was crying and hugging Goku, saying, Gin, look, our son has come back. Goku, while hugging Bardock, we see Bardock has been bleeding from his stomach. As we see Goku has stabbed him and said, You fool, I have no father. The only father I have is Frieza. Hearing that, Bardock died knowing that his own son killed him. And before anything could happen, Goku has killed Gin too. And then that's when King Vegeta comes to see what's happening. And Goku's like, so you're the king. Before Vegeta could even blink an eye, King Vegeta will be in the ground dead because Goku has killed him too. After killing all the Saiyans, Goku has finally completed his first mission as Frieza's pet and that is to kill all the Saiyans and that's what Frieza wanted. He wanted Goku to be the one to kill all the Saiyans. That's the reason why he trained Goku too because he thought it will be very fit for all the Saiyans to die by the hands of a Saiyan. As Goku returns back to Frieza's world and tells Frieza the good news that I have completed the project. Once when f the news went out that Planet Vegeta has been eradicated, all the Saiyans has died by the hands of a Frieza's pet named Kakarot. Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz, they will be very angry. How dare Kakarot come to our planet and kill our own and therefore they would want to kill Goku. They felt that Vegeta told Raditz and Nappa that let's make a plan to kill Goku because those Saiyans were weak. We're here to avenge our father and our blood and his brothers. Let's do it and we'll kill Goku easily. Raditz and Nappa will ask Frieza what is the plan? How are we going to go and find Kakarot? He is very loyal towards Frieza. How are we going to convince him to join us? Vegeta out of anger said we are not going to make Kakarot join us. We are going to kill him, show Frieza that we're serious, and kill him for what he did to all of our Saiyans, brother. Are you going to seriously want someone like that to join us after he killed all of us, all of our own people? And because of that, Raditz and Nappa are now convinced that Kakarot must die. Frieza asks Goku to go on another mission to conquer a small planet called Planet Some. When Goku got to Planet Something, they were all insect type of living creature there and he managed to conquer all of them within less than 10 minutes. He managed to destroy every one of them and we've seen that while he was killing all of them, Goku learned a new move. His own version of a Kamehameha wave as he goes and blasts the planet and half the population there died by that blast. Frieza, Nappa and Raditz were tailing Goku and they found out that he's on planet something. So they went on planet something and Goku sends their energy coming down. One thing that Goku learned, both Goku and Frieza learned during their training is to sense energy. And therefore Goku sends that there's a strong energy that's landed on planet something. 
he goes to see who that is and he finds three Saiyans standing there, Vegeta, Raditz, and Nappa. They confront Goku and say, how dare you kill one of our own, you killed our entire race, who you think you are? Vegeta, let me kill this guy! Before anything could happen, Kakarot had a big smile on his face as he jabbed through Nappa's stomach and he pretty much killed Nappa with just one blow. Seeing that got Raditz and Vegeta very surprised and scared at the same time. They're like, how can this be? And before anything could happen, Kakarot threw a very big laugh and he said, you guys are weak, come at me. And before anything could happen, Goku went right towards Raditz and attacked him. He took Raditz to the ground and started beating the living crap out of Raditz. Raditz then was all bruised, broken up and said to Goku that Kakarot, I'm your brother. Well brother, did I tell you that I also killed dad? and our so-called mom. And before you know it, Goku shined a blast at Raditz. Raditz died right there. Vegeta was surprised but anger said that you have been training with Frieza I see. I too been training myself. As Vegeta gets up and starts to power up to his full ki goes full power. Goku then taunts Vegeta and shows him that you are the so-called Prince Saiyan huh? It's more like a weakling saying, come at me Prince Saiyan, come at me Princess Saiyan. Vegeta hearing these taunt got very upset. Vegeta got very annoyed with Goku's taunt and got very angry and screamed at him and said, shut up, enough of this, as he goes and power looks a full gallic gun to release at Goku. Vegeta then said, now it's time for you to die Kakarot, gallic gun. And before you know it, Goku stands right in front of the Gallic Gun and caught it with one hand and dispersed of Vegeta's attack. Seeing that, Vegeta was left speechless and Goku said, Look, Prince Saiyan, I got something for you. Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan. Seeing out of jealousy and fear and shock, Vegeta was just surprised and speechless saying how can a lowly Saiyan like you be able to achieve that was once a legend. And Goku as a Super Saiyan starts to mock Vegeta. And before you know it, Goku kills Vegeta with a Kamehameha wave. Vegeta dies right there. And without Goku knowing, Frieza sees everything. Zarban and the Doria were supposed to help Goku and they report everything to Frieza and told him what happened. Frieza was very happy and surprised to know that Goku has transformed to a Super Saiyan but happy at the fact that he took care of Vegeta and Nappa and Raditz. Turns out it was the Doria and Zarban who led Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz to go to Goku's planet where he is to kill him because Frieza wanted to test Goku's loyalty. Because he knew that they were actually Saiyans and that would he go join the Saiyans or would he kill them. Now knowing that Goku is his full man, Frieza is very happy and pleased to see that Goku has conquered planets for him and he returned back killing the Saiyans. After a little while Frieza would have phrased Goku, they would have threw a big party and all that would happen. And now Frieza would go to Goku and say, listen Kakarot, I have a mission for you. You are, as you know, my second best man here. After me, you're everything here. Together, we have to rule this universe. But there's a planet I heard that's going to be a big price. It's called Planet Earth. I need you to go there and eradicate all the living beings. I gladly accept this offer, my lord. As he goes and makes his journey towards Planet Earth. It took Goku five days to travel from Frieza's planet to Planet Earth on a space pod. Once Goku got to Earth, he says that this place is full of weaklings and it's not even worth conquering. He doesn't know why Frieza wants it but Frieza said kill so Goku kills. So he went and scouted out the strongest warrior in Earth and that person was Master Roshi since he is the strongest one living in Earth. Goku goes to Roshi's island 
and out of nowhere they see an evil saint standing right in front of them they're like who are you i'm the one who's going to kill you bam he blasts roshi and roshi died right there along with his island after that goku would sense that the second strongest one is is no one other than gohan so he would have gone towards gohan he would have gone to Mount Pals to where Gohan's living and try to fight Gohan one on one. When Gohan gets out and hears that he killed Master Roshi, Gohan will fire a full blast Kamehameha wave at Goku. Goku will then disperse the attack with one hand and say that you're too weak, die. And he blasts back Gohan. Gohan right there dies. Slowly by slowly, Goku has killed most of Earth's population and everything. He has killed all living beings. He has become what you could say a complete personality of Goku Black. Goku has killed anyone that comes near his path until he meets Boma. Once he meets Boma, Boma's life would have been she has a boyfriend because she used the Dragon Balls to wish for it. But then since Goku went towards her city and started killing everyone, when Goku sees Boma, he goes towards her to kill her, but before that happens, Boma screams and says, Wait, I have an offer for you. What do you have, weakling earthling? She shows him the Dragon Balls and tells him that she has all seven and that if he uses that Dragon Ball and make a wish, he could wish for anything. And she made a deal with Goku that if you use this Dragon Ball to make a wish, I need you to promise me that you'll leave our planet alone and get, get lost from here, never come back. Knowing this temptation that Goku is able to use the Dragon Ball and wish for anything, he pauses there and thinks to himself what should he do because it was such a great deal. Then he asks Boma to show him. When Boma summons a dragon, Goku, since after all Goku is a Saiyan and it is in the Saiyan blood that they don't like being ordered by anyone. Although we see that Goku is very loyal to Frieza, we learn that loyalty actually comes in power. Goku has already killed half the Earth's population. Tien, Shenhan, all the Master Roshi, everyone has been dead by Goku. Boma was pretty much living and she offered him to use the Dragon Balls. So once when Goku summoned Shenron, he would ask Shenron to give him immortality. Shenron says, your wish has been completed. And now Goku has become immortality having an immortality goku that's as strong as him going around the universe of killing he'll be a non-stopping killing machine once when goku has achieved his wish he kept his word to boma and left planet earth and before you know it boma then waited for a year to collect all the dragon balls and make a wish to wish back all the people that died by goku's hand but Goku made a promise to never come back to Earth because he has achieved what no one can achieve, and that is getting the power of being mortality. Frieza found out about Goku and what he has done, and that made Frieza very mad. As we see Goku returning right back to planet Frieza. So once when Goku wished for immortality, he made his way back to Frieza's planet to see Frieza as Frieza found out about Goku's immortality but little did Goku know that Frieza knew as Frieza found out that Goku did not complete the mission and he was really upset but little did Frieza know that Goku was immortal and that he is in his way to confront him. Frieza thought that he has brainwashed Goku to be his loyal subject but at the end of the day Goku is a Saiyan and his Saiyan blood told him that being in control of yourself and having power is better than bowing down to power. Once when Goku gets there, Goku tells Frieza that he did not complete the task. Frieza was angry and asked him why didn't you do this? When I said to attack, you're supposed to attack. Shut up. How dare you say that to me? Did you forget your place? I am your master. I have a thing for you. You are no longer my master and you are a fool. I have been playing you this whole time. Being your loyal subject just to find the right moment to finish you off which ends up becoming Goku and Vegeta had the same intention. Vegeta was pretending to be Frieza's loyal subject until he was strong enough to kill him. Same thing with Goku. Once he has his immortality, Goku is ready to face Frieza and kill him off. After hearing this, Frieza laughed and said, You know, after all, monkeys are monkeys. I knew one day, Kakura, you would turn against me. And before you knew it, Frieza has transformed golden form.
first time seeing Frieza's golden power, Goku was very astonished and speechless. He had nothing to say as he was seeing a glimpse of golden Frieza. And that's when Frieza says that it is time for me to kill you off once and for all. It's a pity. Having you as one of my loyal followers would have been amazing. We could have conquered this world together and this universe could have been ours. You are a fool. <laughs> He transformed into a Super Saiyan. Being completely outmatched by Frieza, Frieza countless kept beating up Goku as Goku didn't stand a chance against Golden Frieza. And that's when Frieza said, it pains me to see you in this type of pain, but what can I do? You're a fool. Didn't you notice something? Frieza then realized that how come he's not dying as he used his final attack to kill Goku off. Seeing Goku stand there, after taking major hits from Frieza, Goku was able to boost his Zenkai and he transforms into a Super Saiyan 2. Running out of stamina, Frieza has lost his golden power because he couldn't retain it for so long. That's when Goku found his opportunity and he killed Frieza once and for all with his Kamehameha wave and before doing so he told Frieza, may you rot in hell for the rest of your life. Now Frieza is dead and Goku has become the ruler of the entire Frieza force and he's the ruler of the universe. Five years later, planet after planet has been eradicated, there have been no living life forces. Goku and his force has killed every life force that came in their way until Beerus the Destroyer has woken up from his slumber. And Goku had five years to train and within those five years, Goku was able to achieve major heights and new power. Once when Beerus wakes up and he finds out that Frieza has died in the hands of a Saiyan named Goku and that he's very evil, Beerus' job is to destroy evil so he's gonna go to see Goku but before he does, he's gonna find out if Goku's a Super Saiyan God. When Beerus sees him and sees how evil he is, he then decides that Goku's not worth fighting and he should use direct Hakai against Goku. And when Beerus released his Hakai attack, it did not phase Goku. Goku was still alive because he was immortal. Being out of shock, Goku and Beerus start to fight as Goku shows Beerus his Saiyan power and he transforms into a Beerus then kept beating up Goku, but until the same technique that Goku did with Beerus, he did with Frieza. He waited for Beerus to slow down and lose stamina. As Goku was fighting, and Go he fought so far two god being type of power. First is Beerus the Destroyer, and the other one which he killed was Frieza. And knowing that, his body got used to fighting deities, and therefore, before you know it, Goku has transformed himself into a Super Saiyan God. Able to achieve God Key with all the training that he has done in the past 5 years and fighting 2 DD godlike power, Goku's been able to use his Super Saiyan God power. And that's when he went and finished Beerus off. Whis then saw that Beerus died, but he did not want to interfere with Goku's plan, so he went right back to where all the angels live to inform them that Beerus has died. After achieving God Key, Goku felt so amazed with the power. He himself was shocked that he had such amazing power and he could not believe it. He was able to fight Beerus and survive because of him being immortality. And that's the reason why Goku was able to achieve God Key in the first place. His body is immortal and therefore it can never be destroyed. No matter how much damage it takes, it's going to heal itself and 
boost his Zenkai very high and make him always win every battle. And that's the reason why Goku is able to achieve God Key. And being so evil and dangerous, ruling around the entire universe, Whis went back to tell Daishinken what happened. Daishinken has informed the king of everything about Goku, and that's when he stepped in. The Omni King comes towards where Goku was. As he sees Goku, he d then decides to not just kill Goku, but destroy the entire universe. As he destroyed the universe, everyone from Universe 7 dies because of Goku's action and Goku died along with the entire universe. And that is how Dragon Ball Z would have ended if Goku landed on Frieza's planet. This is what would have happened my Z fans after 3 parts of completing this video we finally came to a finale of what would have happened if Goku landed on Frieza's planet. Let me know your thoughts out in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the discussion and what do you guys like the most about this discussion? Which part was your favorite and which part of this discussion surprised you the most? Let me know if you enjoyed this discussion or not. I would love to hear your guys' opinion and thoughts inside the comment section below. If there's anything you guys like with the discussion what I've talked about, please drop me a like. That would be amazing. If you haven't joined my guild yet by subscribing, please do so. I'll greatly appreciate it. I'm GokuT23. Have an insane day, my Z fans.